Hello everyone, Guy in the Shell here, and we are going to solve the maze challenge from the Offshift City app. So it's a web challenge and there is an EU instance, so let's just go there. I'm going to zoom a bit, so you get a login form. If we look in the DevTools, there is nothing much to be found on this particular thing is just submitting the form. There is no comment, no nothing to find, just trust me. So the first thing, uh, the first clue I have found in robots.txt. Okay, so it calls, it's about a super secret API. <laughs> so let's go there. Oh, okay, cool. We get a GraphQL uh, environment. So what can we do there? So you know what? Uh, let's use our special payload for GraphQL. And this is my payload for introspection. Let's just submit that. Okay. So in the queries, we can query for nodes that generate not interesting. Oh, we can query for all traders. So I'm not going to show you all the details. Um, of reading the, all this, I'm just going to execute it. So I want all the traders and it's a kind of standard paginated structure. So you, you have to go through there and the traders, they have an ID and they have a username and they have coins and those coins, they are also a typically paginated list. And those have IDs and they have title and they have body and they have password. And if I execute that, I can find that there is a token that is defined that is the XFT token. Uh, it's the utility token that grants entry to the offshift ecosystem and I have a password. So, okay, let's try to log with that. Copy. We'll go back to the login. Okay, username being XFT and password being this guy. Okay, we're in. So, what do we see now? We see an admin space here. I'm not going to go there yet. I don't have enough information. Um, there is nothing much uh, yet in the uh, console either. So I'm not going to even open it. But we have those buttons here. And if we click, we get into this page. And uh, if we click here, we get into another page. So what we can see is that, well, you, you can't see it yet, but I'm going to zoom. Um, you have a parameter here that might be subject to injection. So I like to do that in the shell. So I'm going to just grab my cookie because I have been logged in. So it knows that I'm logged in through a cookie. So I have a session here. I'm just going to grab my session. I'm going to go into a shell. I'm going to put my session there and I'm going to try with some coin. So the, the coin that works that we see is something like that. Okay, and what we can see is that uh, this XFT string is actually put there. I don't know, put there also. So maybe we can inject something. So let's try to inject something different. Let's try with you. Ooh. USD, for example, and we are going to grab on this. Um, IMG as SRC equal slash static. Um, does that work? Oh, it says invalid coin. Okay, so it's looking for something. So now can we inject something? So now I want to do some kind of SQL injection. So SQL injection, uh, I'm just going to use those quotes here. And now I want my typical closing or one equal one and comment. Oh, and look, I got something. So I seem to be able to inject SQL. Okay. Is it SQLite? So or SQL light version equal sqlite version 
Yes, it is SQLite. Okay, so like the graph two challenge, I'm gonna grab my SQLite. Okay, here. Oops. Uh, and I'm gonna do or and one equal one union my select and I want to comment okay so it did not work we got an error and this is because uh we need the right number of parameters so no not here your table name it's actually expecting two I have already done it so I know okay so the problem now is that it seems to read only the first row, row that is returned. So we want to have something uh, a bit fancy there. So we are going to do a group concat of the table name. And we are going to group by... So there is a coin data table, a traders table, a coins table and an admin table. Admin sounds good. So let's see what's inside admin. So I get my second query, which is to inspect the columns of a table. And da, 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 up till here. And I can paste and I want the admin table. And then I want, uh, well, that's a SQL and I need a second column. So this works. Okay, create table admin, username, password. Interesting. So let's just try and get um, select uh, password now from admin. Okay, here is a nice password. Let's try to log with that. Now going back here. This time I'm going back here. To go back here so there is the admin there i get the admin login i can do admin and this password and i mean okay so now there is some kind of animation okay so i'm still not there there is still one more layer okay let's open the console again so i have a new session because now i'm admin so i'm, I'm just already going to copy that because i'm going to make use of that uh up like that up that i remove okay and now interesting so i have another thing in my cookie which is skid and you can see that it's there it's also there okay so the value that is in the cookie is also in my source file so could it be that there is some server side template rendering um okay so i have uh, also in my uh in my website i have some knowledge base about how to do server side template injection okay so detect if there is some trial kind of server side template injection so i can try to pass things like that so it's going to be a bit messy i'm not going to put them all but um so there is a name oh, there is a name parameter in the cookie it looks like that uh it's gonna mess it up so i'm gonna remove that i don't care i'm gonna remove that also i think that's gonna be enough and now i'm trying to go in slash admin and uh yes and with this cookie okay bad substitution so yeah i still have some uh things like that that it doesn't like okay so I can make it crash. So most likely there is some kind of injection. Okay, so identify. So we try several payload. So we try this payload first. Uh, oh, this is a mess. I never know how to do that. I think it's double dollar. Yes. And so here we did not do anything. So that's not the right one. So it fails. Uh, no, it fails here. So we go there. 
will this one work? Okay, 49, it has been evaluated. So this is some kind of language that understand that. Okay, so this one works. Let's try this one. And we get seven times the, the character seven. Okay, so it worked and it was not 49, it was seven, 40, uh, seven times the character seven. So we are in presence of Jinja 2. Okay, so what can we inject in Jinja 2? Okay, in Jinja 2, there is always a request object, and then we can try to inject something like that. So let's look at it. So because there is a... Oops. Hey, did what happened? So because there is a request object, I can do request.application, and then I can go to from there to globals, to the built-ins so that I have access to importing something. So I can import the process that is part of the Python standard library and I can do some check output. Uh, I don't forget to print the result, otherwise I won't see what's happening. And so here I can do ls, for example. Oh, ls. And I put shell equal true also. And what's happening in place, I have done some injection. I see there is a docker file, app.py, coin.db, oh, flags.txt. Okay, so I'm almost there. Cat flag.txt. And here I was able to inject my flag through the cookie and template injection. That was amazing. It took actually a long time for me to figure that out, but I'm super happy to have gone to the end. So that's all I have for you in this challenge. Bye-bye.